That's a little off kilter. There we go. That's better. Episode 6. And this is an interesting question um, because I didn't... I really did not suspect how much of an issue this was going to be. Basically, the question is, where do we hang out? When, um, when Colette and I uh, met, she was living in Playa del Carmen. And um, because of her work, she wanted to stay there. Uh, so I moved to Playa del Carmen, and we got married in Playa del Carmen. Then, because of my work, we subsequently moved to Cuenavaca, um, which is where we are now. When I moved to Playa del Carmen, uh, Colette already had a, a, a local, not a local, it was, it was downtown in the uh, Fifth Avenue area, if you're familiar with Playa at all, you know what that is, basically the tourist area. But she had this place called El Templo where she hung out and that just became our hangout. It was a bus or cab ride downtown and basically what it was, is, is uh, you know just a bar that's LGBT friendly. It's not a gay bar, but lots of gay people go there. Um, they have uh, reasonably priced drinks. There's a to-go pizza place across the street. There's people who come through and sell snacks. Um, there's a couple of televisions which normally just play uh, music videos unless there's an important soccer match going on, in which case then it plays that. There's a jukebox, uh, but it's not like overpoweringly loud. There's no official dance floor, but people will get up and dance in front of the jukebox. Um, you know, it's just, it's a very casual, easygoing place. And it was somewhere that she was already going and uh, and I quite liked it, and so we just continued to use it as our as our main hangout. We moved to Cuenavaca. Of course, neither of us knew any places here. So, sorry, the dogs just spotted a squirrel. Um, squirrel. Um, anyway, we moved here, and our first. You know, we decided we'd like to find something similar to what we had in, in, in Playa. Um, naturally, we went first to the, to the gay bars because we would know they would be LGBT friendly and we wouldn't stand out. But gay bars, this was true in Playa and it's true here, um, they tend to be very, very specialized. They tend to be meat markets. Um, both spellings of that word, and they all tend to have um, shows, uh, cover charges, expensive drinks, and uh, you know they they'll have um, uh, transvestites get up and and, and or, or drag queens get up and do kind of a karaoke performance, and when that is happening. It is so loud, you can't carry on a conversation, you can't do anything but watch the show. And when that's not happening, uh, they tend to play the music really, really loud. So it's not just like a, you know, a neighborhood bar. So we've, uh, we struggled a little bit to find somewhere. Now, we're not sure that this is going to be permanent, but what we found in the meantime is there's an area uh, almost in the in the shadow of the cathedral in Centro Cuenavaca, called Plazuela de Zacate, uh, and there's maybe it's basically just a street with a couple of restaurants and like eight or ten bars that are basically all the same. You know, uh, reasonably priced priced drinks. You can in some of them you can order food. Uh, they have television playing videos and stuff like that but it's not overpowering none of them have a cover charge and um, uh, and we have noticed that there's lots of LGBT people most notably uh, lesbian couples but you know lots of LGBT people there who seem quite comfortable and, and don't seem to have a problem with acceptance so that's the the area that we've been going to I'm not going to say the bar because there's you know like I said, eight or ten bars in this street. Um, 
and um, and they're all pretty much the same. So we've gone there maybe three or four times so far. I've actually had people who I didn't know contact me on Facebook who live in Cuenavaca and say, oh, I saw you and your wife at uh, Plazuela, uh, what is it? Plazuela de Zacote, Zacate, Zacate. Um, which is kind of nice, and you know, and I said, well, you know, did we speak? Um, no, we well, you know, next time, say hello. Um, so we've met some very nice people there, we've quite enjoyed it, until or unless we find somewhere that's a little bit closer or a little more like um, El Templo in uh, uh, Playa del Carmen, that will probably be our go-to place. So, where do we hang? Plazuela de... Zacote. Zacate. Thanks for watching.